All right, Lauren, thank you. Maryland joins more than a dozen states suing U.S. Immigration and Customs or ICE over a decision to revoke foreign student visas. Last week, ICE announced international students can no longer stay in the country if they are taking only online classes. WMAR 2 News' Mark Roper is live outside Towson University for us. Mark, how many students could this affect? Good morning, Ashley. Well, it could affect more than 5,000 students enrolled within the university system of Maryland schools alone. Towson University here is one of a dozen USM schools where those international students could be forced to return to their home country. Now, Maryland Attorney General Brian Frosch announced his office would represent the state of Maryland and USM schools in the lawsuit against ICE. It brings the total number of states suing the Trump administration to 17, plus the District of Columbia. Many school administrators have announced their campuses will hold classes is either strictly online or a combination of online and in-person classes this fall. That's to enable greater social distancing during the pandemic. The USM Chancellor says ICE's new rules risk students' health and safety to avoid the risk of deportation. Meanwhile, he adds the threat to revoke international student visas threatens the efforts administrators are doing to keep their campuses safe, not to mention the financial threat to universities. The system's chancellor says USM schools already are dealing with a loss of more than $200 million due to COVID-19. And he points out students on F-1 visas already pay more than $125 million in tuition, housing and fees into the university system of Maryland. It's a huge loss for universities, but also the decision to revoke those visas deals a huge blow to students not left with many other options. No one should really have to make a choice between their health and their education. Forcing students to kind of suddenly um, discontinue their education or to suddenly feel displaced um, is really traumatic. Now, the USM Chancellor says that each institution is working with those international students to make sure that they can stay enrolled in school, but also stay compliant with ICE's new policy. We are live in Towson. Mark Roper, WMAR 2 News.